moving now. Okay, so we've got a battery problem. On this Frigo DK200, there's no signs of life coming from this battery at all. So look, plonk it down, turn it on. There's absolutely no battery gauge at all. Nothing showing on there. You can't turn the bike on. It's completely and utterly dead. So what happens if you plug the charger in? So if you plug the charger in, it doesn't change color, still showing green. Um, there is no voltage coming from the battery either on the main terminals. If you just get your probes in there, we're getting some weird stuff happening on there. So yeah, doesn't look good. So what's wrong with it then? And is this a common problem? Disassemble the battery. Battery looks like it's actually weather sealed, which might be a good thing, but it makes it incredibly difficult to get apart. Right, well this has really pissed me off. It's not coming apart, they've put adhesive on here and I'm just, and I've ruined the casing now, so I'm gonna do something else. <laughs> I've actually just it's gone savage with this bike. I'm gonna try running it on 15S. What do you reckon guys, do you reckon it'll run on 60 volts? Soon find out, it might just go bang. E-Bike Engineering 101. Right, moment of truth then. Got an XT60 connector on it, and I've got my three 5S LiPos. Is it gonna go bang? What do you reckon, guys? Normally the capacitors in these things are rated to like 60 volts, but who knows what's inside there. So risk I'm willing to take, guys, for the uh, for the sake of the channel and for the mods potential of this after. So, voltage check. <laughs> it's 62 volts. Oh, that could be a bit high. Okay, we'll unplug one of these batteries, and then we'll just do it this way around. And we'll see what happens. There was a pop. It's on, it's alive. Right, this is gonna be interesting. I wonder how fast it will go. Right, I need to put these batteries back into that box, into that case. That can just, so it works, it turns on, but the back wheel doesn't spin um, on the throttle. So I know this is really weird. I've just um, I just tried two of these packs uh, at 42 volts and it, and it actually works. So it's like it kind of knows there's too much voltage and it won't, you know, move. So. I don't know, let's see what we can get away with. Maybe if we can discharge these batteries a bit. Um, how can we do that? I don't know, maybe discharging the batteries a bit and see where it, what the maximum voltage it is. I mean, I could have a look at the settings of the controller and see, maybe. Right guys, so what I'm gonna do just to get this thing moving, <laughs> I've just put basically 13S of LiPos in this bag here um, with a harness lead that I've made up myself, um, which was for, for the actually for the go-kart and it works and the throttle also works as well. So we know we haven't blown the controller. So I think what I'll do is I'll discharge these batteries. I'll, I'll give it a run now, I'll go to town, um, see what it rides like with the LiPos. It's always interesting, isn't it? It's the same voltage as the lithium iron, but probably holds a bit of higher voltage. Um, and then once these are discharged a bit, I might be able to get 60 volts out of the three 5S packs. And I reckon at 60 volts, it'll work. I don't know for sure, but, I reckon at 60 volts it will work. I need to just sort this out. That this um, this is the code for the getting into the controller. I've set this to 60 volts. I need to come back down to 48 now, and then our <coughs> battery bar will actually read read correct. Hold those two down. Right, I'm going to zip this up, grab a GoPro, and we'll go for a ride. Looks pretty neat, doesn't it? Right. Okay. So. At least it's working anyway, look, we got, so we've got 50 volts, it's down to 50 volts, it's sagging down probably 3 volts or something like that, which isn't, isn't too bad. I really wanted this to run on 60 volts, you know, because I think it would go pretty, pretty damn quick, but it has got bags of power, it's not bad at all. So, yeah guys, interesting, isn't it? I mean, like, Lord brakes on these things are a bit sketchy um, and this hydraulic brake which is weird because it's like a, a rear hydraulic brake which is unusual but anyway um, yeah basically it's interesting stuff I think this controller will be kind of working at I think I reckon it work at 60 volts don't quote me yet <laughs> I need to test it out but I think it probably will I think it probably will work at 60 I think 62 is probably too much um, and that is just going to be the the thing where I don't know. Usually these con these controllers used to just blow up. They didn't used to just not not work. So things have 
kind of changed a little bit. Uh, so what else was I going to say about this? Yeah, so things are sort of going towards 15 and 16S now for the high power stuff. So this is the interesting thing about voltage and um, current and amp hours. Basically, if you didn't already know, your watt hours of the battery, like the energy sort of density of a battery, comes from the voltage and the amp hour reading. So, say for example, you had like a really low voltage battery, but with a really high capacity, um, you'd get the same as if you had like a really high voltage battery with a really low voltage, um, you know, uh, sorry, a low capacity. So, this is quite an interesting concept because obviously sort of you know batteries now they can give quite a lot of current um, but they also hold their voltage better under load so you're going to see some interesting stuff happening in e-bike e um, tech coming going forward um, a bit like kind of what happened with the lawnmowers like now the lawnmowers like some of the like ego lawnmower stuff is like on on like 60 volts um, because they've obviously realized that you can you know get some watts thank you you can actually get like you know quite a lot of horsepower for having um, a really high voltage you know so i don't know if i'm gonna fit there <laughs> oh yeah thank you so yeah pretty interesting stuff guys but and i really like the fact that you've got this kind of you know very small small battery which is quite easy to sort of move around um, and you can charge these on uh, kind of normal hobby lipo chargers. That's quite nice. So, 15 and a half mile an hour, 250 watts. Absolutely no problem at all. It's a nice comfortable bike this. It's a real shame about that battery though. I know what on earth actually happened to that battery. I, d I do not know. It was a bit flaky from the start though. I've got to say, it was pretty flaky. I don't know why um it did what it did but right right at the beginning when i got that battery it seemed like it needed to be bounced back into life and i don't i thought when i plugged the charger in it actually kind of brought it back to life but um i don't think it was that and then i thought maybe the bms has got like a deep sleep feature or something on there um you know for, for sort of storage but i don't think it has i just think there's something a bit wrong with it but the way they've sort of like obviously they don't want you to sort of you know take these batteries apart I understand that but um it's it's got, got so much adhesive in there the top of the battery is like completely stuck to the casing so you can't it's really difficult to get that battery off um or that casing apart anyway i will be taking it up with him the manufacturer and see what see if this is a common common kind of problem normally it's that switch the little kind of micro switch on the side normally it's that but um you know that ends up kind of contact isn't the best and um, you end up with some issues there but on, mate. nice there's no way i'd drive a car into this town anymore it's just too much ag bike is so much better all right what's the climbing power like of this bike that's quite a steep hill, you know. That's actually not bad. Quite impressed with that. Racketing, rattling from this front wheel. I feel like this bike needs some mods as well. But to get both bikes ready for like summer, thank you. So yeah, I think these, this bike and the, uh, the Ranger are gonna be the sort of summer one. So I think what I'll do is I need to do a few little bits and pieces to them sort out any issues i don't like i hate the brakes on this and i don't like this front light actually at the moment it's getting on my nerves rattling away so what i think i'm gonna do is i think i'm just gonna ditch that it's really annoying because i do like the look of it but what is that it's that that's rattling it is that front light that's rattling i thought it was the front wheel but Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop moaning in a minute. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so, take these batteries out. Don't feel warm at all, which is always good. 
we'll see. It only had to come down a couple of volts. Um, basically, if it'll work, let's just turn it back on. What's the voltage saying? So 59 volts now. Apologies, I'm doing this with a GoPro. Let's just see if it works. Yes, it does. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, cool. All right, let's give it a test. Because basically a 14 cell um, lithium ion pack is 58.8 volts. So you can get away with 60 volts. You know, this, just, this controller is obviously capable of running 52 volts where the fully charged voltage is nearly 60. That makes sense. So yeah, pretty good really. You can get an extra bit of power. Whoa, it's moving now. So yeah, you can get a bit of power, a bit of extra power by adding, adding a cell. And it does actually make quite a bit of difference. But what I really want to do is fully charge this battery so it's like 60 something volts or even 70. We're on 16S. That'd be pretty cool. I'd only have to grab another six cell pack and I could I could run 16S. That'd be that'd be really good. But not on this controller, unfortunately. Anyway guys, useful little experiment. Afternoon of messing around with e-bikes as usual. Hopefully the weather will be warmer soon and it'll be a lot more fun. Catch you next time.